Hey everybody, it's My Green Skies. Checking in on day four. Going strong. Um, what I have found out is just keep your stomach filled with juice and you're not going to feel like you're missing something, like you're missing a meal, like your egg sandwich or, you know, chipotle at lunch or maybe a, pizza, a slice of pizza for snack, even though <laughs> those were my own routines. Uh, what has been helping is just making sure I constantly have something in my stomach. I'm still drinking my carrot juice. I'm still trying to perfect that green drink. It's gotten to the point where it's tolerable. That I can drink it. I know what to expect. I know it's not going to going to be the great tasting green drink that I would like. I have even saw some recipes for the Dr. Oz green drink, which is, I think, um, it has parsley and spinach, cucumber, celery, ginger, lemon, and lime. I'm not sure. I think it does have apples in there. So it's similar. I'm still trying to practice the green drink. I haven't figured it out yet. So, it's, I'm on day four, and, you know, I've been told, your taste buds will change. Um, what I'm noticing is my taste buds are coated. I have such a thick film on my tongue all the time. I'm noticing that, and it's disgusting. Um, and, and it's probably because I'm not eating anything. I'm not, I don't have anything solid going across my tongue and going to the, to the back of my tongue. I don't have that. All I have is just liquids. And a lot of the time when I'm juicing, there's foam. So sometimes when I'm drinking my juice, I drink that foam and that stuff is not going down um, my tongue, well, I will say this, it's being caught on my tongue, so it's starting to, um, it's starting to have a layer, it's creating a layer on my tongue, and it's really nasty and thick, so I'm noticing that, um, and also, um, I actually don't have anything extra. I do, but I don't want to say anything right now. So, um, um, everything is going well. Um, do I have the urge for Chipotle or pizza, um, or any of those things? I don't physically have that desire, but I do think of what happens after this fast is done. And I know anytime you are doing a fast is for some particular reason, especially a fast like this where you're only drinking liquids, it's either to, it could either be a, re, a religious fast for you, um, it could be a fast to um, detox yourself, maybe because you're, you're sick and you want to detox yourself. And I know for me, it's for losing weight. Um, and it could be all three of those combi all of those three items as part of a combination on why you want to do a detox. So I think about those things that even if you're doing this type of fast, it is not something that you should do long term. So I know this is not teaching me how to eat properly properly when my fast is over. So when my fast is over, and let's say I lose my desired weight, what happens then? Obviously, the way I was eating and maybe my activity, my act, well, I would just say how active I was in my life, maybe it led me to, well, I would say more than likely, it led me to have the kind of weight that I have now. So um, 
I want to make sure I don't go back into those same repeated um, trends of mine on how I ate. So right now, no, I don't have any desire for McDonald's, Wendy's, Chipotle, you know, a nice home-cooked meal from mom. I don't have that desire. But I do think about what am I going to eat after this fast is over. Um, Thanksgiving is coming up next week. What am I going to eat when I get to that dinner table? Um, ugh, that's hard. And that's what's being stuck in my mind right now. I don't want to go back into that same um, routine. I need something. I need to adjust something in my life. And I'm thinking juicing is going to help. So those are my thoughts for today on day four. Thanks for watching. And you yeah, have a great day. Bye.